Palisade held its annual 4th of July parade. For the two people leading the way, it wasn't just a celebration of America's independence, but also a celebration of a child who just beat cancer. Our Michael Lagerwell starts us off. I rode in the cop car with Shawnee. Today? We had a blast. John John came into my life two years ago. Officer Shawnee Higgins and Sergeant John got to lead the Palisade Independence Day Parade. Higgins has been by John's side ever since she met him two years ago. Ever since then, the bond just grew. There's things that John's went through that I can't even imagine as a kid. For the past 913 days, John has been fighting acute lymphoblastic leukemia. More than 900 days of blood transfusions, platelet transfusions, and chemotherapy. On Thursday, we have his last chemo, or chemo treatment. Um, I'm going to be there with him so I can ring the bell with him and show what a fighter he is. To celebrate beating cancer, John and his best friend led Palisades 4th of July parade. This is why I do what I do. John impacted my life um, <clears throat> more than I can explain. Now, the celebration continues. Everybody's going to the park. We have a bunch of hot dogs. I think they're doing grilling, all of that. John John and I are going to be over at the park, huh? It's the power that we have to make the change on what we do. And so if I can be there at someone's lowest point to show them that they can do it and they can make a different change in their path or their journey, that's what we're here for. First on the Western Slope, Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News. Now you can help more kids just like John fight cancer by donating blood or platelets. The next blood drive at Palisade is July 21st to Grand Valley Primary Care, 731 Iowa Avenue.